scary tree. Guys, we're sitting in the middle of the Lake District. So guys, we're in the middle of the Lake District trying to find somewhere to camp. And uh, I'm left behind and I'm lost. What do you think in? I think it's a pretty good spot there. Yeah. I don't know what this is. It doesn't look like a pool or anything. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice spot. So apparently we have somewhere. Hopefully. I'm knackered. Oh. I'm going to take a walk down to the um, entrance. Oh, where they said I can't put a tent up first. What's further up though? What's further up? In theory, you could come in the car. Just throw out front and then drive it back. Yeah. We could though, actually. Because I'm not what we have to do. Guys, if you could only see what we were seeing right now. Hmm? Nearly done setting that thing up, guys. Nearly done. Just stick around. <sighs> this is mental. Should I try slow mo? Do you think it will pick up? I, I doubt it will pick I up. I don't know. Give it a go. Holy freaking hell. This is insane. It's so scary though. Brilliant one. It's not even picking up back up on my phone. That's what the UK has to offer, man. Just, it's just not stopping. It's just a constant flash. Guys, we've just woken up. Guys, we've just woke up. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. To be honest with you, I think we're in someone's drive. Um, our tent decided to leak all night last night. We had a thunderstorm, and because we're up the mountains, I've never seen anything like it. It was insane. Literally, we. I felt like I was inside the storm. It was weird, guys. It was insane last night. And the rain that come along with it, yeah, we are drenched right now, drenched. So we're gonna pack up, go hit some breakfast, and um, see where today brings us. So let's get on to part two. Well, day two. Let's do this. First night complete, and this is what we wake up to, and this is why it's kind of worth it. Taxi! Breakfast time. Very good setup, actually.
sure I something will pop. Car just died. Uh, make sure you record this bit. Oh, that's our crank. No way. Our crank of snap. That's our bottom end. No way. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Don't know how you killed, man. No way. Well, let it cool down for a bit. Yeah. What a place to break up. <laughs> yeah. Looks like electrical fence. No way. How did it know it happened? Because I heard something go plumb. Yeah, we're going along. Lost power. Just lost power. I mean, this is why we've got RAC coverage. Yeah, it's just we're a little deep in Scotland. That's all I'm worried yeah. about. Nationwide recovery. What, they'll take you all the way home? Well, no, they will take you to a garage. How are we meant to get home from the garage? Fix your car at the garage. Also, we can have both of us. But day two, we didn't even get to the I where was we going to Highlands. Highlands and yeah. How far away are we from Fort William? About 40 miles. Great stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we're in the middle of Scotland <laughs> and we're trying to fix the car. One trying to fix and one on the phone. <laughs> yeah, we're only on the phone because we don't trust. If we can't fix it, we're 40 miles from the nearest big town and uh, we're pretty sure. Oh. Hang on. Hey, there's nothing on. on. Uh, it's a belt. On your hands, is it turning? No. No. Dead as fuck. We've snapped the top yet. We've snapped the crank. Fuck. Venture and half, that's all I'm going to say. I think the roof is the, the, the like, least of the problem. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Come here. What? Snap belt. Snap belt? Yeah. Fuck I think that's a snap belt. They'll take her off just in case. Yeah, but it shouldn't be that loose. Either that or a bomb gear is fucking done. And everything's still there. should not be that loose. No. Maybe the belt's gotten too hot. Feel how hot the belt is. Or maybe snap. Oh! Yes! Dude! This is repairable! This is a fucking belt! Yes! Yeah. Absolutely shit itself. I mean, do we, do we try and hitch a height to somewhere where you can get one, or do we actually do it? I don't job? think we're going to get one round here somewhere anywhere. Uh, yeah, we will. This is going to be a common ass shit. Belts are usually go by standard, not yeah. in the car. Could you hold? Uh, I'll ask them. How far is the nearest garage? Like, no idea. I mean, Fort Williams is 40 miles, but this is the kind of thing they keep on roadside spares. Yeah, I mean, like, you could actually have that in his van. Nice diagnosis, mate. This is what the fucking Mongol rally is about. We are on the A82, 37 miles from uh, Fort William. Not William. It's perfect, this is, isn't it? Can you put in a uh, bridge of Orshi into something? Because I'm just a little bit further along the road than that. O-R-C-H-Y. O-R-C-H-Y. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh.
about that later. So guys, just a quick little update. We are still here, broken down. Um, we're about a million miles away from where we live. Now we're like good, good couple of hours from where we live. It should basically take us two days to get where we are right now. And we are sitting here making food on the side of a road because we're broken down in a car that we was expecting to go another seven to nine days. <laughs> miles, hopefully we have called RAC, the breakdown cover people, and hopefully we can get this fixed. Apparently it's literally just the belt, I don't know, belt thing. Um, apparently it's just the belt and we're going to be okay. But yeah, this is literally what we're doing right now, making food next to the road. Nice view though. Just hope the rain lays off. So guys, we're still waiting on the recovery. We are inside the car because the flies outside are ridiculous. Like, I don't know, even, you're not going to see some... Oh wait, you can see some of them. We've been, um, been in for two hours. Well, one hour, twelve minutes. So and they're all there. Since I first called the uh, RAC. Uh, yeah. We had the update off them saying that they ring us in about 45 minutes so hopefully they do because it's getting the sun is going down it's getting late and we don't really want to be sitting in the car all night because it's getting like i can write my name in the window so yeah i'll give you another update hopefully when they come hopefully guys i don't know well you can see that but literally right outside there you can see them as well there's flies everywhere on top of the bonnet, see them big black things walking around? Yeah, there's about a hundred of them all, all over the bonnet and all over the window screen. Great. Guys, the last time I picked up this camera was like seven hours ago and the recovery guy didn't come and pick us up so we're waiting for someone else to come pick us up and it is like gong 12 <laughs> you wish it's gone two it's gone two okay i thought it was only about one we're sitting at the side of a road bugs everywhere the only thing in the only people in sight are lorries so yeah and our battery's flat yeah, everything's flat. My camera is literally going to die any second. Phones are dying. Car batteries. Car batteries dead. So we got no hazard lights. We literally got a torch. This is what's left of us right now while we wait for the hire car. Literally everything we have on us out here. <laughs> 